All right, today we're looking at the A490, a very nice little camera, one of the best-selling cameras on the market, and for very good reason. It takes really nice pictures, especially uh, for how much it costs and because it's extremely simple to use. Very basic camera. It doesn't have a ton of crazy features uh, that you're not going to know how to use, so it's especially good for kids, maybe elderly people that are you know, still thinking about some old big film camera made out of wood uh, from like the 1900s and stuff. They're going to be able to figure out this camera. It has an auto. Uh, it's actually a super auto, basically. It, features not only taking care of the exposure and the aperture and the ISO for you automatically, but it also selects the scene for you automatically, so it's literally fully, fully, fully automatic. You just push the button and it takes a really, really nice picture. Now, um, I'll start you off uh, with a real quick uh, tour of this. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the lens. Uh, now, it is a 3.3x optical zoom, uh, and then it has a 4x digital zoom on top of that, uh, which is actually the equivalent, just the optical part anyway, of 37 to 122 millimeter if you were uh, equating that or making it equivalent to a 35 millimeter film camera or a full frame digital camera. Uh, now, it also shoots uh, videos, so it does do uh, 480, I'm sorry, 640 by 480 videos. So that's TV resolution, uh, so it looks really, really nice. Uh, it also has this 2.5 inch uh, 150,000 pixel display, which is quite the nice display. That means you can check your photos, make sure they look good so that when you get home, uh, you're not disappointed by the photo that you took because you knew what it looked like when you shot it. Uh, so that's really cool as well. Uh, now the ISO on this camera goes all the way up to 1600, which is very, very high. Uh, that means that when you are taking pictures in low light, you are going to be able to see them. It's not going to come out blurry. Uh, now it may come out grainy, uh, but with some software you can fix that in post or uh, you can just deal with it. You know, sometimes it's better to get uh, a photo that's a little bit grainy than to not get any photo at all. Uh, so that's very nice. And if you use that in conjunction uh, with the low light mode, uh, you're also going to get even better results because of that high ISO. Uh, now we were talking about the buttons. I just want to show you right here is your shutter release. Uh, this is your power button your zoom control is right here so again 3.3x zoom this is your playback feature in case you want to review any of uh, the pictures you already took to control your flash uh, you just push this button actually i got to get out of uh, that screen so here you go if you want to control flash look at this simple on off nothing confusing about that exposure compensation uh, i can't do it right now because i don't have a card in but basically it's very simple left and right brighter darker if you want to go into macro mode uh, or into infinity mode, which is landscape mode. Uh, that's that button. And then right here, this lets you either delete photos or set up a two or 10 second timer. Down here, you can switch between the different modes for video and for uh, stills. And then right over here, this lets you access your memory. Now, uh, usually menu gets you into all the controls, but on this camera, you have to hit function set. And then you're gonna see right there, there are all uh, of your different settings. So if you wanna adjust uh, your ISO, leave it on automatic or change it, adjust your white balance, uh, you know, set your evaluative metering to spot metering uh, or adjust the size of your photos. You can do all that just by pushing this function set button uh, right there. Now, let's talk a little bit about media. I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to flip it upside down and we're going to show you uh, the media. Uh, so basically, this runs off of two AA batteries, which is nice when you're on vacation because you can switch uh, batteries anywhere. You can buy AA's just about anywhere on this planet. Uh, right here is where you put your memory card in. This is going to take SD. Uh, SDHC or MMC cards. Uh, so also, again, very versatile. There's two different types of cards that it takes, and you can find those cards uh, just about any place on the planet. Uh, the only thing left to mention is that this camera does feature uh, a flash. So if you are uh, in a low light environment and you can't use the low light mode, you can turn on the flash and even better, it's got a smart flash. Uh, there's actually a camera, uh, I'm sorry, a mode in the camera. It's called smart flash. Basically what smart flash does uh, is it lets you with a little slider control how bright uh, the flash is. That's going to make sure that sometimes you take a picture of the flash and it looks all blown out or it's not bright enough. Well, you can adjust it manually uh, and then look at your image on the back of the screen and then decide whether you want to increase or decrease the flash. Uh, and that's basically one of the more complex uh, things on this camera and there's not much else. I mean, that's. It's literally as complicated as it gets, you know, selecting the different scenes, low light mode, fireworks mode, beach mode, landscapes, whatever, uh, portraits. It goes through all the different modes, or you can use the full, uh, you know, auto mode. It'll even pick the scene for you as well. It's a very simple camera. You can't go wrong. Kids can figure it out. 
Uh, elderly people can figure it out, people that are not photographers, people that don't understand cameras very well. It's a really good camera and it takes great pictures uh, for being extremely, extremely affordable and again, uh, it's one of the best sellers. It's literally, we sell thousands of these cameras every day and they're just all over the place because it's such a good camera for the money. So uh, there you have it. It's the PowerShot 8490 from Canon. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll see you guys next time. If you want to get some more information on the Canon PowerShot A490, just type in C930-1718 into any major search engine.